Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Castello, Board Certified Family Practice, and today we're going to talk about post-traumatic stress disorder and performance anxiety in a theory that I think is potentially quite amazing. So we know about post-traumatic stress disorder. It happens in soldiers that return from war. It was well documented in Vietnam, and we're seeing it today in Afghanistan and in Iraq and vets that have come home after seeing some potentially horrendous things. It happens locally with trauma with rapes and with fires in your house and with being mugged and car accidents and other things where after some stressful event you have these vivid flashbacks and memories and it seems to sometimes take over your life. The theory I have goes back to caveman days and if you think about a caveman if he's walking around a corner and he gets attacked by a bear he has a fight or flight response. So he either needs to fight that bear or he needs to flight. He needs to run away from the bear. And what triggers this fight or flight response is adrenaline and stress hormones. So you have some stressful event, you release stress hormones, primary adrenaline, and it causes your heart rate to go up, your blood pressure to go up, your eyes to dilate to bring in more light to be able to see. It takes blood away from your organs and puts it into your muscles to be able to run or to fight. So there's a whole series of events that happens with fight or flight. One of the things that may happen is, is that adrenaline causes your brain to have super vivid memories or recollection of the stressful event and that makes sense. If you're a caveman and you get attacked by a bear, it would be beneficial to you to remember every single vivid detail about that. You need to know where you were, what the rocks looked like, what the trees looked like, what you smelled, what you heard. All of the events would be helpful in the future, five, ten years later, if you're walking around a bend and you see a rock and a tree and it triggers this response and you remember that's where the bear hung out, you're going to have some different actions. So adrenaline may cause a heightened awareness and a heightened recollection of a stressful event. If you want to forget that you got mugged, if you want to forget the events that happened in Afghanistan, that's probably not a good thing to have and it's not beneficial. What we can probably do is give you a beta blocker. So a medicine like propranolol is a blood pressure and heart medication and it functions by, by blocking adrenaline. So if a stressful event, if you end up in the emergency room, it might be beneficial to take a beta blocker as soon as you get there to block some of this adrenaline response and hopefully to blunt this vivid memory that you might have. If you're in a war situation and you go out on patrol every day, taking a beta blocker before you go out on patrol may lower your adrenaline levels just enough that you don't have such vivid memories of something stressful or something terrible happens. We use beta blockers regularly in people that have performance anxiety. So say you need to give a public speech or you need to give a presentation at work and everybody's familiar with this feeling. Your heart races, your mouth gets dry, your hands get sweaty. This is adrenaline. You're stressed out about giving this event and in that situation you're not fighting anybody and you're not running away from anybody. So fight or flight is not an appropriate response in that stressful situation and it's not beneficial. If we give you a beta blocker before your uh, event or before your presentation, you have some of this blunting and you actually do much, much better. I couldn't give you a Xanax because you'd be sleepy, tired, you wouldn't be stressed or anxious, but you wouldn't have your best performance. But a beta blocker in low dose would not affect you from a performance or reflux um, or anything like that that would be problematic. Uh, they actually give beta blockers to the Olympic athletes that do this event where you ski for a while and then you lay down and you have to shoot a target. The heartbeat racing fast actually interferes with your aiming and you try and shoot in between heartbeats. So these guys take beta blockers to slow their heart rate down so after they ski they lay down and their heart rate's a little bit slower and they can shoot a little bit better. And obviously these are Olympic athletes, they're still able to ski at full skill. So there's not really any physical detriment to taking a low dose of a beta blocker. So post-traumatic stress disorder uh, may be adrenaline driven, definitely anything stressful enough to cause PTSD is going to cause an adrenaline release and my theory is, is that this adrenaline causes an ultra vivid memory of the event and if this is a bad event you don't want to remember that. So if you have PTSD uh, it's probably not going to help to take it down the road if you have a specific stressful event or you end up in the emergency room with a stressful event then maybe taking a beta blocker would be helpful. If you you have performance anxiety, talking to your doctor about taking a 
beta blocker or propranolol before the event uh, absolutely is going to help your performance. Dr. Greg Castello, thanks.